Well, it's been a blustery and cold Saturday across the area. Let's talk about what kind of caused some of those winds out there. We had those winds cranking up thanks to the wind machine. That's basically when you get a big area of low pressure to our east, you get a big area of high pressure to our west, and right in between that, the winds kind of create a pressure gradient. You see these little white lines? These are lines of equal pressure. The closer they are together, the stronger the winds, and that was right over the Carolinas and North Georgia today. Currently, we still have winds that sustained anywhere between 10 to 15 miles per hour, but these are definitely coming down now that we're losing that sunshine and as they go throughout the evening, the winds will continue to calm. That's bad news though, because that allows those temperatures to also start to drop even more. So we have temperatures hovering right around or just above freezing in the mountains, still in the upper 30s to right around 40 across the upstate, but these numbers will continue to cool. And with that little bit of a breeze that's still out there right now, it still feels like it's in the 20s currently in the mountains, feels like it's right around freezing in the upstate. But again, remember as the temperature drops, so will the wind chills as we go throughout the next couple of hours. So we're kind of at the warmest point of the evening right now. For the rest of tonight, we'll clear the skies out. The winds will calm down. That means some frigid temperatures by your Sunday morning. We're all headed down for the 20s, low to mid 20s in the mountains, mid to upper 20s across the rest of the area. And then for your Sunday, it's going to be a cold start. Make sure you give yourself a little extra time to warm up the car. We're looking at mostly sunny skies in the afternoon, but still below normal temperatures with highs area wide hovering only into the 40s. Now let me show you what's going on here with our temperature trends because we've got this deep trough that's carved out across the southeast and as we go throughout the rest of your weekend and even into the beginning of next week through your Monday, it's going to stay on the cold side across the area, but as we get towards the middle and latter half of the week, I'm seeing what I call a zonal pattern. That's a west to east pattern with the jet stream and that allows some of that warm air from the Pacific Ocean to flow all the way across the south and we'll see our temperatures getting back to if not a few degrees above normal. Now the question is, are we done? with winter? The answer is no. Basically, looking at the last week of January, I'm watching this pattern because we're going to have a big Canadian high pressure moving down. That's going to be pushing down some colder air and below normal temperatures across the area. At the same time, look at this. The storm track is going to shift to our south. So you've got colder air in place. You've got a storm track that's going to try to throw some moisture in there. No specific storms to point out right now, but I do think as we get towards the last week of January, we're going to have a little winter fun and game. Something to watch out for. But for now, that's just beyond the four-day plus. We're looking at a cold start tomorrow, but the rest of your weekend sunny temperatures highs in the 40s. Our next chance of rain will arrive for the end of the week. Could be a little heavier rain by Friday.